Hello there, my name is Ollie Monroe and I am the lead coach and director of Axis Trampoline and Gymnastics Club. Um, welcome, first of all, to uh, the first of these Get to Know Your Coaches videos. Uh, we're going to put one of these out every Tuesday just so you guys can uh, get to know us a little bit better. Um, there's not a lot of opportunity normally for you to, um, to uh, have this kind of chat and ask these kinds of questions. So um, yeah, hopefully it will be a, a bit of fun and a bit informative for you guys. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about how I got into trampolining. So I was uh, 20 when I first did my uh, my first seat landing on a trampoline uh, while, while I was at university in Bristol um, and just absolutely fell in love with it. You know, I, I, being a late starter to the game, you know, I didn't do it as a child, um, but uh, but yeah, just absolutely loved it. What an amazing, amazing sport. And, uh, and I got better and I got better and I trained harder and I went to more sessions and it was uh yeah just a just a, a really interesting uh path of uh of improvement um and i started going to competitions and i did really well at competitions and uh, and then in the end i finished up at uh, national grade 1 um which is the the at the time was the top level that you could get to in the country and yeah just amazing absolutely amazing i used to fall off a lot as well though <laughs> to be fair um my brother calls it doing an ollie uh, which is landing on the floor hard. Um, I set up Axis Trampoline and Gymnastics Club uh, because all, all the time that I was training, um, I had to travel here, there and everywhere to lots of different clubs and see lots of different coaches as I got better and better and better as a gymnast um, because there just wasn't a club in uh, in, in Bristol. Um, I originally trained uh, and competed for uh, Evolution Trampoline Club uh, with uh, Sarah Hunt and Nikki Allen um, and uh, yeah they were they were brilliant to me and supported me really really well um, I also went to Red Kites over in Bridge End with Stephen Donagrist um, and Isabel Chick and uh, we had uh, yeah it was it was wonderful but they were both of those venues were an hour in opposite directions um, and there was just nothing in Bristol so I was like Do you know what we should we should start up a club and um, and provide that opportunity for the people of Bristol for the children of Bristol to come and trampoline and have access to high level coaches um, so uh, so yeah so that was it and the, the did that in 2005 and the the rest is history you know we started off in a in a, just a little school and we we got bigger and bigger and we bought more trampolines and then we did competitions and then uh, all of us as a team of coaches our qualifications were getting higher and higher and higher so yeah here we are um almost 15 years later and uh, we've got uh, this fantastic venue which sadly sits idle at the moment but uh, but that's going to change we'll uh, believe that um and um we uh, we we we're, we're, we're got all these different disciplines tumbling and double mini and gymnastics and freestyle and tramp wall and yeah it's what what a cool place um i hope that you enjoy coming to us as much as uh, as we all enjoy delivering it to you uh, what else do I do uh, within the sport of trampolining? So um, I'm a senior trampoline um, tutor and assessor uh, for British Gymnastics. So if you guys ever wanted to become a trampoline coach, then you would uh, have to come on a course and you'd get someone like me dancing around at the front, showing you how everything works and how to catch people and keep people safe and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm also an arena commentator. So I did 10 years uh, of arena commentary for British Gymnastics at their major events, um, including the British Championships for, for 10 years. Um, I'm also the current uh, Trampoline and DMT League event commentator, um, which, is, uh, which is good fun. So obviously they're gonna get back up and running when we come back. Um, I also had the honor and the privilege of being invited to commentate at the World Championships. Um, which, when it was held in Birmingham in 2009, and wow, that was mind blowing. <laughs> what a what a fantastic experience that was. Um, for 10 years, I was the chair of British Universities Trampolining, um, so I uh, organised and facilitated all of the um, trampoline events that uh, all of the British Universities uh, clubs uh, participated in, and then I also ran the Southwest Schools trampoline championships for the BSGA, the British Schools Gymnastics Association. I did that for 10 years as well. So um, yeah, I was, a, I was a busy boy, I still am a busy boy. Um, what's, what's been my source of inspiration uh, through my career as a trampolinist? Um, I tell you what, uh, Axis, um, when, we were, when we were moving venues around, um, before we ended up in our final venue, we were gonna, we were gonna close. There was a time when we were gonna go bankrupt through no fault of our own. Um, you know, we were in properly difficult times and um, I stumbled upon Arnold Schwarzenegger's Six Rules of Success. Um, and that really was 
truly inspirational for me. It picked me up because I was I was a bit a bit depressed at the time, um, but it picked me up and galvanized me into uh, making sure that access was the best that it could possibly be. And his rules are trust yourself. If you've got a goal, if you've got a dream, then you've got to make sure that that dream is um, right for you um, and that you should trust that that dream is achievable and real and um, it's going to be amazing for you. Um, you're going to need to bend some rules along the way. So that's rule number two. You've got to bend some rules. Um, don't be afraid to push the envelope and to try and explore the, the outer reaches of what is possible for you guys. But you're not going to be able to do that unless you bend some rules. Um, don't be afraid to fail is rule number three. Um, I've never done anything where I wasn't prepared to fail. And it's I think it's vitally important to have that really healthy relationship with failure because if you fail lots, you're going to learn lots. Um, if you're successful all the time and success comes easy, then it doesn't mean anything. You don't learn as much along the way. So always be pre prepared to fail and always be prepared to learn from those failures and those mistakes. Um, ignore the naysayers. Rule number four. Uh, there are always going to be people you're going to meet that will say, oh, this can't be done and you're never going to be able to achieve that. And <laughs> that's a load of rubbish. Um, ignore them. They are, they're only going to hold you back uh, as you uh, continue towards your goal uh, of achieving uh, whatever it is that you've set out to achieve. Remember, you're still trusting yourself. Um, so just ignore those people because they're, they're, they're never going to be helpful and they're always going to hold you back. Um, fifth rule and probably the most important rule is work like hell. Like you are going to have to work your little socks off um, because none of these rules are going to work unless you do. Um, the, the world doesn't owe you anything and it's not going to give you um, everything handed to you on a plate. So, um, you know, work, 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 work. And obviously you've got to go out and have fun and you've got to enjoy yourself and, you know, partying and all that kind of stuff. But all the time that you're doing that, someone else out there is working hard and succeeding and, you know, making their dreams come to come to fruition. So uh, you've got to put the work in. And then finally, rule number six is give something back. Um, whether it's you giving back to your friends or your family, um, to your school, to your local community, uh, to your country, um, give something back to people. You're going to get so much um, inspiration and uh, self-worth uh, and joy from, from you giving of yourself to other people. So, yeah, give something back. So they're, they're his six rules. And I'll tell you what, um, uh, all my staff are going to go, oh, Ollie, we've heard all those rules before. Um, but they, they really are. They, they guide me in, in so much of the things that, that I do in my life. So, yeah, um, check out his, uh, his, his six rules on YouTube because it's uh, well worth a watch. Um, of course, we find ourselves in this tricky uh, coronavirus situation where we're all stuck at home. And that's rubbish for all of us. Um, but are we going to let it hold us back? Uh, it's not going to hold me back. I'm going to be working um, super, super hard. And both myself and Mel, um, as, uh, as the, the directors of, of Axis, and uh, we're going to be pulling from all different members of our, of our um, amazing Axis team to keep the club ticking behind the scenes and to make sure that we are safeguarding ourselves for the future so that we're ready for when we can open to bring you guys back into the gym. So, yeah, um, I want you guys to have a really positive mindset um, for all of that uh, kind of stuff as well during this time when we're going to be stuck at home we're going to be getting a little bit bored so my message is stay safe um, stay active stay positive um, and uh, enjoy the videos that we're going to be putting out for you and yeah there we go see you guys on the other side but uh, enjoy our videos uh, as we put them out this week and if you've got any suggestions or comments or anything then please let us have them um, cheers guys <laughs>